Hello everybody, here's Ahmed Nasser. In this tutorial we want to talk about web services. How could you make a web service and how you can connect that web service to your application. Uh, so the first step I need you to do is just go into new project. Uh, from here we can choose a web service. So if you come here and say web service Okay, web service. Uh, let me search for it. Web service. So here we can see a web ASP.NET web application, web service application. So I, I just want to choose ASP.NET web ser service application. And I'll just name the service. Uh, I'm just going to name the service to be. Uh, web service so let's say Ahmed service okay uh, after that we click OK mm -hmm. so as you can see here we created a new service uh, the, the name of the project is is Ahmed service and uh, the service name is service one Okay, so we have a service that ASMX. So this is the name of the service. So double click on this in this service, we can see the class here. So we got a web service. Uh, we got the classes. We using our system uh, the web services, and we got a namespace, and we have the namespace here uh, with the, all the services. Okay. So this is uh, the default uh, namespace. Uh, as you can see here, we got the WSI profile. So these are the default value, and we got a default method which is hello world. Okay, so this is a, a, a default method. So if we try, if we try, come up to the top here, and uh, I just want to launch the the application. Okay, uh, so let me just run the app. Okay, here we launch the browser. We're going to uh, the server, the IIS server. Okay, everything is fine. So here we started the server. Okay, so we can, we got a web server here running. So. So I prefer to turn the WAMP server off. Okay. Okay, as you can see here, we run the ASMX file, and uh, we got the service service number one, and here we got the method inside uh, the 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 remote method hello world. So if you click in the hello world and you click invoke. Uh, you open a new page and say hello world because we return hello world okay nothing fancy here uh, so you can see all the stuff here the soup uh, envelope and all the stuff here so in order to turn it off you can come to uh, you know you can uh, for example you can see you see this line you can uh, let me just turn off the okay so you can try run the service again. Okay. So as you can see here, we got uh, all the the stuff. You can invoke the method. Nothing fancy. If you go to the corner of the screen, uh, if I come here, I can see uh, the IIS server. So if you open the IIS server in the browser and uh, move to the top of the screen. You can see uh, the the web service that we have here. It's service one, okay. So uh, you can see the code, but you cannot see the code in the server. But you can see the the service. So here we got the service, and uh, you can add the description to the this uh, method. It's, it's hello world. So you can come uh, to this one to the the to the web method here. And uh, open a new bracket. Okay, you can open a new bracket and type a description. Um, 
for example you can put something like uh, you can come here open a bracket and type description and uh, set the description to be equal to value for example uh, hello world something like that okay so you can run this uh, let's see what, what okay what we got here we got a description a nice little description beneath the the word here so this is the way how you can add the description okay uh, let's add a new method and make a new class and play around so if I come here to uh, the main uh, class here and try adding a new class so uh, so I'll decide to create a new class and uh, this class will be for example employee okay so we got a new class here it's a class so let me add some attributes like public uh, integer ID and let me just put the sit and get myth okay properties and here we put the name public string name sit and get okay we just need to set the ID and name fine after that we just move to the to the to the solution explorer just go to the web service double click in there move back to uh, our uh, our main main class here okay namespace the class is service one so I want to add a new method and this method is just gotta be uh, just will you know will return a list of uh, a list of employees so here you just define a list public list and it's a list of employees okay and just get okay just like that okay open the close bracket we just want to return a list of employees so here up here just define a list of employees so list l equal to new list of employees and here just want to type l dot add new employee and id is equal to example one wait a minute and name is equal to okay this is the first employee let's add many employees four employees say this is one two three four and also increment the id two three four and we just gonna return the list of employees okay so if you try run this uh, method just before we run this let me add a description so we add a web method and inside the web method we add a description so this is get employees method okay try to run this uh, method uh, run this service okay as you can see here we got the description get the employees and we got the method so if you try uh, click on the method and try to click invoke a new window will pop up and you can see we got all the employees with all their data so we got one two three four uh, the last one okay this is a good way um, okay so if we try uh, view the source it's an XML file and uh, as you can see here uh, we got an employee and the employee has an ID and uh, an employee has a name and we got a list of 
Amblies, one, two, and the last one here. Okay, so and we in the array of Amblies, as you can see, it's auto generated. Okay, so we got this nice method, and what I'm gonna do now, right now, I just want to take this uh, method or take this uh, service. You can see it's uh, on localhost service one a s m x. So I just want to copy this link. Suppose this is a p uh, any website like uh, want to go to a, s a specific website like when I go for example to YouTube and you want to get this from YouTube. So you just copy this, and I just want to create a new project, other project. So let me go to new project and ASP the web app choose a name uh, with choose a name for the application so it's the application web service where's the day today okay so we just name that and click OK we just want to create a new ASP web application uh, we go to uh, as you can see here we got a web application it's uh, an empty one we go to the design as you can see it's empty nothing there so what I'm gonna do right now is just going to uh, references you can see here we can see add web references add service references I just wanna add a web reference so from that window you can see uh, we got a URL browser here, so you just can click on that, put the service name, copy it from the URL, and type it here. So, say you navigate to web URL, we need to start that web service, so I just close that, so let me just go back. So if I go to um, here, just try and run it. This is my service. Okay, just try and yes. So we 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 back to our service here. We run it on the server. We run this method in the server. Of, okay, we copy this link, and we move we move back to the other project. Uh, this one. And uh, in the add references window, we just paste the service. So here you can see the services. Uh, we got two method hello world and get embly keys. Uh, okay, here you can name the web reference name. So uh, I just want to type the service. Let me just dot service for example. Add reference. So directly when you add the reference, you can see it here. If you go web application, so your web application, we got a properties. We add this to the properties, and also we can see here we get uh, web web services is added automatically to the references, and we got additional stuff which is the web services or web references. And here we got the name space or the name for our service. The reference name is Ahmad service, so we can use this all the time. So in order to use this in your uh, project, all you need to do is just go to default page, and uh, if you try to uh, view the code, so if I try back here, view code, uh, I need to to use this inside my project. So I just come here and say using I just type the service name. Okay, I just type the service name. Uh, the service name that I got is web service. And uh, we need to add a reference here. We added already a web reference. So we need to add to use this service. Okay. So in order to use this service, you need to add this to your class to your class to your uh, uh, C sharp code here. So I'm just gonna import that. So uh, 
let's add that web service uh, using uh, what is the namespace okay this is our namespace uh, okay ahmad.service so this is our service okay this is the namespace of our service after doing this we can use the service you can use it easily so how could you use that so back to the design mode uh, I just want to drag a drop at any value let's assume it's a grid view so if I come to uh, data grid view or grid view where's the grid view okay if I just drag it and drop it in the form and just back to the code and say uh, data grid view okay we got the grid view the data source I just want to give the data source from the from the service so how could you do that first thing you need to define a service so we just define a service the name of the service service one I just uh, s equal new uh, service yeah okay we just created a new service and after you create a new service all you need to do is just getting the method from that service and put that into the the source so we need to put this as the get employees we get automatically get employees a sync if you want to put this to other thread you can do that so I just want to stick with the normal and get employees and uh, I just get all the employees and put that to the data source after that I just need to bind so if I come here and say grid view the data bind it's like that okay I make sure that all the servers are running so if I come to the my service and try okay it's running it's in debugging mode and here I got the service so I go to the next form okay this uh, the next form and try to run the app so everything should work correctly so, uh, let me just okay run it as you can see here we got the web service we just bind the web service into the grid view so as you can see this is a quick example and how you can use web services you just add a web reference to your project and add the URL reference in the namespace of the XML file and you just get that into uh, your grid view, into your form, into your uh, you know desktop application. So if you want to view a source, it's it's normal uh, you know it's normal HTML, you didn't deal with uh, with XML here, it just uh, uh, you know apply the data into your form so anyway guys I hope uh, you enjoy this tutorial uh, this is very very important and you gotta use this a lot uh, in the web development uh, again guys I just appreciate you watching don't forget to subscribe uh, Stereo 007 here's Ahmad Nasser from Stereo 007 again please don't forget to subscribe the channel and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.